Situated just off the coast of the Isle of Wight in the English Channel, the area known as Boldner Cliff has become a significant focus of archaeological attention due to its abundant Stone Age artifacts discovered in the submerged seabed over time. However, in 2019, researchers made a particularly captivating find, the remnants of an ancient Stone Age shipyard. This discovery is now unlocking the secrets hidden beneath the waters. Boldner Cliff was once dry land, but rising sea levels following the Ice Age caused it to be submerged. Fortunately, the mud and silt carried by the advancing tides helped preserve much of the Stone Age settlement. Over the years, researchers have explored this site, but the groundbreaking discovery of what appears to be an exceptional ancient shipyard was not made until 2019. This site offered detailed insights into the lives of our Stone Age ancestors. The journey to the revelation of this historic shipyard began in 1999 when divers encountered a lobster engaged in burrow digging in the seabed of the Solent, the body of water between the English mainland and the Isle of Wight. As the crustacean made way for its new dwelling, it unearthed intriguing artifacts. These findings were not entirely unexpected, as local fishermen had been uncovering stone tools in the area for decades. Additionally, in 1987, an ancient forest was discovered submerged in the same vicinity. Radiocarbon dating of pollen from the forest indicated an age of around 8,000 years. This area then became a focal point for archaeological diving, leading to more regular discoveries, many of which also dated to the era of the ancient forest. However, it was the meticulous archaeological work following the lobster's discovery in 1999 that pinpointed specific zones of interest for further exploration. The lobster had unearthed distinct rocks utilized as flint tools by our Stone Age predecessors, alongside deposits from a pre-submerged cliffside. This event marked the beginning of a significant journey. Archaeologists have since returned to Boldner Cliff every year, embarking on further excavations that revealed the site to be a historic coastal location with structures and five crucial zones. As a result, the site was officially designated as Boldner Cliff. Spanning a length of two-thirds of a mile, the entire area showcases a window into the past, shedding light on the lives and activities of Stone Age communities in this submerged landscape. Exploring the waters of the Solent, where Boldner Cliff lies just offshore from the Isle of Wight in the English Channel, presents a formidable challenge due to the fast-flowing currents that create perilous conditions for divers. Consequently, archaeological investigations in this region demand innovative technologies and approaches to gain access to the seabed. One such technique employed is box sampling, which entails using metal containers to gather sizable portions of the seafloor. Archaeologists can then meticulously study the collected contents on land. These underwater excavations in the solid have yielded remarkable results. Artifacts have been discovered across the five significant zones identified at the Boldner Cliff site. Among the notable finds are the oldest length of string and the oldest wheat ever found in the UK. This groundbreaking discovery pushed back the history of agriculture in the region by 2,000 years. Beyond this, the explorations uncovered intriguing evidence. A pile of wood yielded burned flint, clay, and charcoal, suggesting the presence of a Stone Age habitation site. Examination of work timbers unveiled the advanced technological skills possessed by these Stone Age ancestors a full two millennia before the Neolithic era. In 2005, another significant discovery emerged between mainland UK and the Isle of Wight. Submerged timbers were found, raising questions about their purpose. While they could have been part of a walkway, platform, or collapsed structure, experts struggled to interpret their role. The timbers' potential connection to shipbuilding remained a topic of interest. In the distant past, the location of the Boldner Cliff settlement was situated in a river valley. At that time, Britain was connected to mainland Europe via Doggerland, a land bridge. This route is believed to have facilitated ancient migration to the British Isles. Physical evidence, such as wheat DNA identified at Boldner Cliff, underscores the close relationship between Britain and mainland Europe during this era. 
In the Solent's challenging waters, the quest for archaeological insights continues, pushing the boundaries of exploration and knowledge as researchers strive to unravel the mysteries of Boldner Cliff's submerged history. In the realm of archaeological exploration, the allure of Boldner Cliff, situated near the Isle of Wight in the English Channel, remains irresistible. This area has unveiled a plethora of Stone Age artifacts submerged in its seabed, sparking fascination among researchers. In 2019, a particularly remarkable find emerged, shedding light on an ancient Stone Age shipyard and prompting an extensive unraveling of submerged secrets. The backdrop of Boldner Cliff carries a historical weight. Once a stretch of dry land, it succumbed to the rising seas following the Ice Age, leading to its submersion approximately 8,200 years ago. As the landscape transformed into aquatic realms, our Stone Age forebears, it seems, took to shipbuilding. This hypothesis gained traction following a significant discovery at Boldner Cliff. The journey through time takes us to more recent years. The initial discovery in 2005 involved a pile of timbers that intrigued archaeologists, yet their significance remained elusive for a while. Technological aid would play a pivotal role in unveiling their importance. In a fortuitous twist, 15 years later, erosion unveiled another structure within the submerged forest, driving researchers to further explore the site. The Maritime Archaeology Trust, Métis, utilized advanced photogrammetry to map the 2005 timber remains at Boldner Cliff. In 2019, further erosion revealed an additional wooden structure. Through meticulous excavation and a 3D digital model, a wooden platform constructed from split timbers with wooden foundations was unveiled. Matt director Gary Malmer highlighted its significance, doubling known worked wood span by 5,000, 500 years, and showcasing advanced woodworking skills. Speculation arose that the platform was for boat construction, potentially making Boldner Cliff the world's oldest shipbuilding site dating back 8,000 years. Despite the excitement, the site faces threats from the same forces that exposed it. Coastal erosion due to sea level changes endangers the site. Prompt action was taken in 2019 due to erosion risks to a discovered artifact. Absent regulatory protection underwater, preservation efforts are challenging. Eminent historians like Dan Snow expressed concern over erosion's impact. Wooden platform sections were retrieved and sent for preservation and analysis at the National Oceanography Center's British Ocean Sediment Core Research Facility. Desalination will prevent rot. Dr. Susan McLaughlin noted their role in marine science support and artifact preservation. The Boldner Butzer Mesolithic Woodworking Project seeks to recreate boats using ancient techniques. Boldner Cliff, Britain's Atlantis, holds submerged history imperiled by erosion and lack of protection. Dr. Helen Fair emphasizes the need to safeguard these sites revealing the past. Mate actively fundraises to conserve the site, acknowledging urgency. Subscribe and press the bell icon for regular updates.